PJ back. So these are my finds for again another week in August. I don't know what's happening. This is the best August I've ever had. Like, uh, sorry, the best month actually. And uh, I found a lot of stuff this time. So bear with me. We're gonna go first with Marvel Legends. First, I found these two Marvel Legends, uh, Lady Beetle uh, and uh, Speed Demon. I find that the character he's carrying there in the back is stupid. It's like a small version of himself. I found that really stupid. Uh, I don't care for the characters. I just wanted to build Absorbing Man. Yep, the characters themselves, I give them zero on zero. Well, let's see. Her, I give her two on five, and him, I give him a zero on five. Not even a one. Just a, a copy of a, of a Flash. Big deal. Something that I don't I don't care for much. But now I'm almost finished. I'm just missing a leg. It's Mad Jack. So if you guys want to help me out there in uh, in the conventions coming up, I'm gonna be a Fantasticon. Hey, you come and see me. I'll be there with a lot of a lot of new stuff. Oof, tons. So I give this figure to build a figure. I give it a, a five on five, and I'm a huge huge Absorbing Man collector. I try to collect anything of Absorbing Man figures. I mean, I have the small little bust from Bowen. Yeah, beautiful piece. Love the face. The face uh, that he gives. Different heads. I kept this one. Then I uh, almost finished Apocalypse. I'm just missing the cables to build the figure. And then it's going to go in my collection. And I have so many Apocalypses. I have both the large ones from the old toy biz. The dark, dark, or the black one. Uh, that's really rare. And then the, the regular one that's really tall. Tall, tall, tall. And the legs are like... Psh, the leg is like the size of this Apocalypse. So he's tiny. Yeah, I give this a 5 on 5, just the cables, and uh, do I really care for the cables? It's Wolverine? No. I have like 15 Wolverines, I don't need another Wolverine. Then I found uh, this at a store, at a local store. I had to pick them up. Cloak and Dagger. Put them together, it's Cloak and Dagger. Cloak and Dagger, Cloak and Dagger, that's it. Uh, the Builder figure is a robot. It's a piece of caca. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay $10 for the, this build a figure The worst build a figure I've ever seen in my life. A spider robot? Like, come on, you could have done another villain. Like, anybody. Hold on. You could have made the, a big, I don't know. Anyways, anybody that's, that's cool in Spider-Man universe. Uh, both figures haven't been made since 1995. The last time they made it was in a six, uh, five and a half, six inch, but they're attached to each other. It was in Diamond Select, which I still have. Those are pretty rare. I, they never reissued them, and they made a two-pack that are very five-inch that come with a tin can that you could put uh, cards inside and has their pictures on it. And it looks like, if, sorry to say this, but it looks like if you're a smoker, you could actually put cigarettes in there. I don't smoke. Five on five for these two. Love them both. Can't crack, wait to crack them open. Then what else did I found? Anything else that's Marvel-related? DC? No, I don't collect much DC. Then I found this. No. I found these at a, at, a, at a flea market. I found um, this is uh, uh, the Dragon dra dra Draco Draco dra from Dragon Heart. Uh, I only have one figure out of the six. You can see in the back there, I have the girl. I have the three dragons. I, I, I paid this. I didn't pay much. I, I'm not going to tell you which I paid. It's uh, look, it wings, and I think he does also his. Uh, oh, hold on, is it John? No, this you go like this. But the wings. This is cool. This five on five. I love this thing. I didn't pay much. Uh, the guy's such a nice guy. He's in the flea market in Saint Michel. He's from France. Tops to you. You're an amazing guy. I, I like coming to your booth and buying stuff off you. You're an amazing guy. I also found the other one. He's called um, Razor Thorn Dragon. Medusa Dragon. I had mint on card. This one's cool. This one you do this. You, the leg goes up and you could you know the mouth but this is a cool drag I have all three dragons I, I like to finish weird sets like this from uh, this is I think the 90s yeah 95 because Hasbro Toy Biz made so many weird no Hasbro sorry Hasbro made a lot of movie related collections and some of them are not easy to come by Armageddon very rare very very rare I'm telling you 5 on 5 for that dragon then I found a Godzilla, not expensive, nice piece. I came out in 2005. Pretty, they're getting harder and harder to come by. Like in the package, they have open packaging. They were between 25 and 40, depending on the character. Yeah, the Mothras go for really. There's two different Mothras. I rarely see them anymore. Yeah, five on five on Godzilla. Everything five on five on Godzilla. I love Godzilla. God. 
Godzilla, king of the monsters. That's where he is. He's king of the monsters. Don't you forget that. Then I found uh, this really weird zombie. Has a duck call. It didn't pay much. It has no date. I like it. Yeah, five on five on that guy. Then I found this beautiful ceramic vampire skull. Perfect as the tattoo that I have on my leg. I actually have a tattoo of a skull like this on my leg. It's almost similar, but flat, not 3D. Didn't pay much for this. These guys are so nice at the flea market. They're two guys with the same name. Uh, Daniel and Daniel. They have really cool stuff. French guys. They don't speak much English. I, maybe they do. I don't know. But it's, I think it's a garage thing. Someone made it. It's uh, pretty heavy. Yeah. This is going to be good for my horror show. Or I reported in my collection with skulls. With fake skulls. Five on five on that. Beautiful skull. Stay horror for life. And collect horror for life. Ha ha ha. Talking about horror? Oh yeah, this is cool. Evil Dead 2. Uh, there's only one movie scarier than the, the Evil Dead. Kiss your nerves goodbye. Evil Dead 2. Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn, 30th anniversary from NECA. You get everything that you see in the back. You get Ash, the, 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 the dagger. You get the, his friend possessed. You get the book. You get, um, what else? You get the, the background, you get an extra head. And look at that. You get the, the moose that's laughing and then two heads for, for Ash. This was seven, $65, about 70 bucks. This is worth every single penny. Guys, this is gonna go up like this. It's gonna go to hundreds of dollars. This is gonna be super rare. I guarantee, if you're a horror collector, go NECA all the way. I love NECA, I, I collect as many as I can of NECA. This is a hundred on a five. Beautiful. This is my favorite movie on my five top list. All three trilogies I put on, on, on the top five list of movies. Then I have Brian Soka's Dracula. Yeah, I know. People say, why that one? I just like it since it, was, since it, it first came out. And right now, the other two, I do, three, I just, they don't come to mind. So it's okay. It's all good. Put this down. I don't want to damage it. Then I got myself some obscure weird knockoffs galaxy heroes this is uh, uh, number 882 I don't know his name so if anyone knows his KOs please write my, and mark his name at the bottom I already have uh, 892 and uh, uh, 895 all their, their weapons are generic. They come with an axe. This one's a little bit open. And I'll show you how he looks like. I'm gonna keep this. They don't. They're not easy to come by. And this, what I paid, they was worth it. They're they're gonna go on and display with my kales. Can't wait to display these. They're beautiful pieces that you do not get often. You keep them. You don't sell them. And there's a lot of Facebook pages there called Ko Collectibles. Go check out the guy. He's pretty cool. Five on five. The other guy, I don't give him 5 on 5, I give him a 3 on 5, and he's okay. He's number 891 in the back. There's only 8 of them, I have 4 out of 8. Not bad, it's not bad. You know, the two I got them 7 years ago at, at uh, Mississauga. I paid $50 each mint on card. They were worth every penny. Yeah, I give it a 3 on 5. After that, I picked up... Meh, let me show you something super rare. Okay, first I'm going to show you this. This is the poster of, in French, of Labyrinth. Original price, $15. Maybe it's worth 20, 25. But this one behind, okay, I just have to go back. Now guys, don't freak out, but this is one of the most rarest horror posters there is out there. Very small, it says this, super rare. This one's in French or, yeah, in French. This is the, what, the, the sheet where you, the, the, the poster where you get in the, in, while you're going to see the movies. And there it is, all its glory. Cannibal Holocaust. One of the rarest posters out there. Uh, in this condition, it goes between 120 to 150 US. No joke, this is gonna be available at my horror convention October 21st. So guys, you want it, it's up for grabs. I paid a lot for it, I bought a huge, a little collection of just posters. This is super uber rare. I got uber rare posters. Only six of them, but they're not cheap. 
I told you the, the value of this, but I'm not gonna tell you how much I'm selling it for. So come and see me at the show. Uber rare. This is something that you don't see often. That is creepy as crap. And I still can watch this movie. No, I don't like people that mutilate animals. I'm gonna keep the creme la creme at the end. Now I'm gonna show you my, my finds of VHS. This is some super rare ones and there's some super common ones. But no, they're all rare. First one is the Wicca Man. This is the extended version. This is the, the, old, uh, the old, old, old movie. Not the one where Nick Cage, Nick Cage goes, oh no, not the beast, no. This movie, I give it, this version, I give it a four on five. Pretty cool. When they're black like this, this is the, uh, I would say the 20th anniversary or the 10th anniversary. The 10th anniversary is white, the 20th anniversary is black always. The white ones are more out. Next I got the burning in French, uh, uh, cut box, super rare. Uh, this is a rare VHS find in French only. People, that, uh, Americans love this stuff. It's gonna be up for grabs on my show. So if you're in Montreal, October 21st, guys come and see me at the table. There's gonna be two other guys selling rare VHS and now we're three. It was me and no one else. This is a very rare French version of the burning. Another French version of a movie, The Fun House. Super rare. Or is this The Burning? Hold on. I think it's, it's, uh, it's The Burning. I'm not too sure about this, but give me a second. No, I think this is not fun. Okay, I can't, I, I, don't quote me in this. I don't know if this is Fun House or, I don't remember. I'm sorry. But this is the French version of uh, an, English, an American movie. Super rare, cut box. When I mean cut box is this. See the way they cut it? And then they put it inside. Another rare find. Next, I picked up another rare find sealed. This one's sealed. Silver bullet. Still sealed. You can see, you can see the, the little sticker there at the bottom. This is one of my favorite movies, and I do not... How can I say? Sealed specimens like this go for a lot of money. That's all I can say. And a lot of people leave me stupid comments like, Oh, you still collect VHS? Yes, I collect VHS, and I sell them. These go for big bananas. Why? It's because there's horror collectors out there. It's a niche, niche community. But in Montreal here, in Canada, where I am, in Montreal, Quebec, there's a lot of collectors. There's more collectors horror than there is of other things. This is my opinion because since I've been doing my show, this is the part three, it's very popular. And it's gonna get popular and popular every year. Give this movie five on five. Next, I have another movie that's pretty sealed. And you can say it says media there. A Nightmare on Elm Street part one. Still sealed in perfect condition. I put them in these little plastics so they don't get damaged. I, I cover, I, my finger's covering the price of what I'm selling them for because I don't want to show people what I sell at shows. I do, sorry, I am, I'm showing you the poster. I am, but it's only on my show I show this. And any other shows, not your business. Five on five for this movie. I love all the movies except for the remakes. Then I have not one, but four. I found four Godzilla's and Mothra type movies. First one is Godzilla vs. Mothra. Monster Classics. I give this a five out of five. This is the older version. See the original sticker there, and that's pretty rare. Then I have Godzilla and Mothra: The Battle for Earth. Never before, never before seen in North America. Pretty cool. That one I, I haven't seen it yet, so I can't tell you. Uh, Rebirth the Mothra. It's pretty. I, I've seen small clips. It's good. This is part one. Yeah, I, I like, I like, I always like this giant moth. It's pretty cool. Like, the, the colors are psychedelic. Yeah. And then I have part two, Rebirth of Mothra 2. With a weird monster in, in the lake and some other weird creatures. I have, I have to see this one. I don't know if Godzilla's in it. No, anyways. Leave me a little quote there. I like little quotes of people. Don't me, leave me stupid ones. You're going to be deleted. <laughs> then, for the finds of the VHS, this is La Creme de la Creme. Super, uber, no, super. This is uber rare. I love Evil Dead, but what I what I traded and what I what I paid for this is a lot of bananas. 
This is a French version of Locre de, de Terre. Ver, a French version of Evil Dead. This is uber rare. This is the cut version, but this is from a, a video, uh, number one for video in Quebec. A guy was selling this one here in for $150. Uh, I've seen one go for $200, it's Canadian. So American is pretty cheap. Uh, I do not sell on eBay, I don't believe in that. I call it Evil Bay. Haven't sold since 1996 and I'm not joking. I don't like PayPal, I don't have I don't have those things. I just don't do it. I, even if I have rare pieces and an American gives me a, uh, finds me on Facebook and tells me I want to buy your pieces, I say no. Sorry, it's not because uh, you're American. No, you could be even Canadian. I won't ship to you. That's the way I am. I just don't. You want to see me in my hometown? Come and see me. All the best. We'll even talk. I'd rather see you face to face. Or when I go to Mississauga next year, I'm going to uh, TFCon. That's for sure. Super rare. This goes for between $150 to $200 US no joke even higher super rare this is a hard rare find that's going to be available i paid too much for it so not that i paid i traded and you know what this is for my horror show monster Hunter horror ton october th uh, 21st at the ruby foos come and see me and my and new faces of horror i have two bands uh weird terror with their uh, hot sauce and i have screaming demons they're nice guys and there's a bunch of other new faces tons of new people can't wait for the show. This is an uber find, five on five, rare. I might even just keep it for myself. That's why I'm leaving the, my finger covering the price. Now, this is something that I kept for the end. This is something that you do not come across ever. I love Inhumanoids, the evil that lies within. 13 episodes got canceled. Black Star, 13 episodes got canceled. I think Thunder the Barbarian is about 13 or 14. Mint in the box, not in great shape, but these go for a lot on eBay. They go for between, I say, about 100 to 200 dollars each, or between, sorry, 80 to 200. I've seen one go for 215, depending on the character. Five on five. I can't, I, I can't pronounce their name, so I'm gonna leave it there. Next, there's another guy. Can't pronounce the name. There's the the version that's a lighter color. I have both versions. Pretty rare, five on five. Box is immaculate. You don't you don't see artwork like this anymore. 80s, beautiful. Five on five, five on five. I'm gonna show you the other one, sorry. The first one. I'm getting I'm getting to finish the set, you know, bit by bit, you know, I have them all. I have the three, uh, three bad guys. I have a vehicle that I showed you already. I'm missing another vehicle. And I, I left the, the nicest one in, Perfect condition for last, uh, red skin, this I can pronounce. And there's three different versions of the red skin. There's a red one, a light colored one, and this colored. So, sorry, a light colored one, a red, redder one, and there's a gray one. I have the gray one and I believe this one. These are uber rare, especially in this condition, literally 200 bananas. This is super rare, it's something you don't see often and something that I, I, I would not let go for cheap. Thank you for watching my finds from collections, three collections and uh, flea market finds and stores all together. Uh, did I show everything? Yeah, I showed everything. So Plastic Junkie out. Thank you for watching this and Plastic Carter. Stay plastic, oh, look at the light, it's beautiful. Look, you can see the green eyes. Stay plastic, collect for life and stay out of trouble and stop playing with your phones. Cheers.